Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here, and look what I got behind me today. We're down here at Luss Hills Harley-Davidson, Southwest Iowa. And this is a brand new, brand spanking new, shiny, sparkling, brand new Street Glide, Harley-Davidson Street Glide. Just an absolutely gorgeous machine, stretch bags, everything's blacked out. Beautiful, beautiful thing. It's got the boombox entertainment system. Just let, let that all soak in. Isn't that just amazing? The Prodigy wheels, dual disc brakes on the front. Absolutely gorgeous. The lower, the lower uh, crash bars, oil cooler. It's just a beautiful thing. Just an absolutely gorgeous machine. So what is this thing? Well, let's start with the engine as usual. It's got an M8 with 114 cubic inches. That's 1,868 cubic centimeters. This engine with the oil cooling around the exhaust valve has got the 10 and a half to one compression. Produces about uh, 118 foot-pounds of torque, 118 foot-pounds of torque, that's 160 newton meters. And uh, it's just an absolute torque monster of a machine. That's, uh, that's an absolute trademark of every single new Harley-Davidson I've ridden. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal amount of torque. Supposed to get about, uh, this bike's supposed to get about 43 miles a gallon. And I think it's got a six gallon gas tank, which is about 22.7 liters. Anyway, just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let that whole thing soak in. So what makes it a street glide? Um, well, it's got the heavy frame, the big engine, of course, the bags, but this uh, fairing right here, that's another big trade of that. And uh, it's, uh, I, I rode a bike with a fairing similar to this down to Missouri about a year ago, maybe. And a 300, 300 mile ride with 150 miles in the rain. And uh, my hands stayed dry, I had gloves on, but uh, I stayed pretty dry the whole time. My legs got soaked. Uh, let's talk about the wheelbase on this. It's 64 inches. That's roughly 1,625 millimeters. A nice, decent, you know, wheelbase. And uh, ground clearance on this hot rod is 4.9 inches. That's about 124, 125 millimeters. And what they get, you know, what they get with that longer wheelbase is you get a lower seat height. And seat height on this is 26.1 inches. That's roughly 663 millimeters. It's a very low, I mean, it just, you just, you can just step right over this thing. It just, <laughs> no problems at all. I, I'm just absolutely amazed at how easy these bikes are to get on and off. So what Harley did is, you know, you have a longer wheelbase in order to get the shorter wheel, the, the shorter uh, seat height. You got the, if your suspension was farther forward, the seat would be higher. But it's a good trade-off, I think. Uh, that makes the bike stable on the road, and very good for highway. So what's the weight on something like this? Uh, this has a wet weight, that's full tank of gas, 827 pounds that sounds a lot to some people but to me it's actually uh it's a good number and riding it you wouldn't tell you wouldn't be able to tell that it's just it's got such a low center of gravity by the way that's 375 kilograms it's got a very low center of gravity so once you get on this thing it just doesn't feel heavy at all once you start moving anyway so tires on this this is kind of an interesting thing 130 60 19s on the front that's a harley dunlop tire it's a I'm trying to look for the Harley branding on there, but it's a Dunlop tire. And the rear is a 180 55 18 on the back. And a 180 is a nice wide tire. I mean, look at that. Just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the forks on this are a 49 millimeter, just massive forks. And they're the, they're the bending valve design. And they, they have these covers over the actual tube, so, so you don't have to worry about them getting dirty or bugs or whatever on there. Works very well. And I already mentioned the Prodigy wheels. Aren't those just gorgeous? They look like spokes, but they're not. They, uh, they look light. You know, they're it's just a very good design, I think. Very good looking wheel. Harley, Harley, uh, you know, Harley gets the looks right on everything. Pro the proportions, the paint. Let's talk about the brakes real quick. Um, so these are fixed discs, dual fixed discs on the front with four piston calipers. So each one of these, two pistons on this side, two pistons on the other side, four total. And all the Harleys I've ridden so far, I've got excellent brakes. Got the rear seat. Got the attachment hardware, so you can get the sissy bar, the stuff that goes in the back if you want that. It's all, you know, the hardware's already there. Uh, very comfortable bike, very comfortable bike. It's got the running boards on there. Like I said already, these low crash bars. Just a beautiful thing. I love the low fender on this. It goes all the way down, you know, protects your oil cooler, electronic package. You know, this is the dash, all analog up in the top here. Fuel gauge, speedometer, tachometer, with a 5,500 RPM red line and a voltage meter. Um, there's a little compartment here, if I can get it open. Put your phone in there, there's a USB connector in there. Uh, this is, I think this bike also has Bluetooth. So let's talk about hardware. 
got the uh, information button here to operate the uh, help operate the entertainment center. We've got the horn, high lows, the blinker for the left side, and the communication button. Cruise control right here, and then a home button for uh, the screen and a little joystick. And there's another joystick over here to help operate this. And then on this side is the right blinker. It looks like a return button. The start switch, and of course the on-off kill switch. And of course here is how you turn on you know things like this. Now the the boombox entertainment center system, which is let's touch that. I mean, look at that. Isn't that neat? clock down here radio up here I think you can get a uh, XM radio on this and all that neat stuff home button let's hit that okay music navigation phone that's the three main things I think really neat system I'm not super familiar with that my when I think about bike riding I certainly don't think of this kind of thing but you know now that you're looking at a street glide that's that's the kind of thing you want you know that's one of the reasons you get a fairing like this so it's 25 watts per channel left and right it's called a boombox GTS and it's a TFT, a color TFT screen. Uh, down here is a little LCD, and that's what this button over here is for. Uh, just kind of watch that. That's our, our range is 54 miles. We've got six miles on this bike. Uh, trip meter A is at 5.5 miles. Trip meter B is 5.5 miles. Let's zero that out. One, two, three. And then, uh, anyway, there's also a gear indicator down there below that. You, you can't see it now because the bike's not running, but. Uh, very nifty, very nifty. Let's put that on trip meter B. So, kind of a neat thing, isn't it? Um, very beautiful motorcycle, I think. Uh, one of the things, you know, I asked what is the difference between this and a Road King, the Road King I drove last week, and one of the things they told me is the suspension's an inch lower in the back, letting, letting this bike sit lower in the back. Uh, one of the things I thought about that Road King last week was the ride was just phenomenal. I'm really interested to see how this does. I also think this has bigger bags. This has got those deep, deeper bags Let's see if we can open them. This is a one-touch open thing, so you do it like that. Um, yeah, they, they have more room in the bottom towards the front. And you can take these bags off with these things here if you want to clean or just don't want them on for some reason. Very nice. Uh, I also like the mirrors, how they look. I haven't ridden this bike, so I don't know how they work, but I like the way these mirrors look. I've always liked that about the Harleys that have these mirrors like that. So that's going to be an interesting thing for us to look at. Uh, they've got this little uh, pressure relief thing here. Air comes in here, it's supposed to reduce buffeting on the rider. It's a very short windshield, but uh, anyway. Some bikes these close, on the trikes these would close, but on this one it doesn't, on the uh, tri-glide. Just a beautiful thing. I like this, this nice, you know, I don't, I, the, the gauges down here are fine. However, I like them up here better. And because we have this uh, beautiful batwing fairing, that's where they should be in my opinion. Nothing, nothing wrong with them down low, but uh, very nice to have them up high. I like this rear end. So the blinkers and the tail lights are, uh, and the brake lights are all, you know, right in this. And then there's a little series of lights here, and I can't really show that to you because it's so sunny out here right now. But look at that whole thing. Look at the exhaust pipes on there. Isn't that just gorgeous? The blacked out pipes, antenna. It's just a really good looking thing. Six speed transmission. And my experience with these uh, new M8 motors is that the transmissions are just absolutely smooth. Isn't that just gorgeous? Everything blacked out, just a absolutely beautiful, beautiful machine. Me gusta. It's just a thing of beauty. All right. I'm Fuzzy Biker, and we're going to go take that hot rod for a ride. Let's go. Wahoo! Kickstand up, clutch in, power button in the right position, ignition on. Everything comes to life here. Five, four, three, two, one. I love it. I love it. Loads and loads of torque, as always. This 114, like I think I said, uh, 118 foot-pounds of torque. Just mega, mega torque. Just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's see if we can do a little turn here. It's really windy today, so I'm a little leery, but uh, I think we'll be all right. Very nice, very nice. If you're in the market for a brand new or used Harley-Davidson, get yourself down here to Lust Hills Harley-Davidson. Ask for Jimmy. He can help you out. Tell him Fuzzy Biker sent you. Check out their website, LusHillsHarleyDavidson.com. Wahoo! Very nice. Lots of power. Very positive shifting transmission. Uh, seating position on this bike is uh, I'm sitting upright. I've got my feet on the running boards. My feet are forward of my knees. Right there, you can see that. I'm. Uh, 
the bars are reaching to me and I'm reaching to the bar. A very neutral sitting position in that sense. I like the way this sits. Uh, what I've learned about Harley Davidson's uh, in the last several weeks is that uh, they're all comfortable. It's just as you go up the line, they get more comfortable. And this is uh, pretty darn comfortable. I do like the way this sits. I feel like I'm taller than the uh, road came the other day. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's because of the fairing in front of us. Your view up here is a little different because of the fairing. You've got the gauges way up high where, where they should be in my opinion. I still think I can see the road just fine. Very good indeed. Sitting here at idle, looks like it's just over a thousand or right at a thousand RPM. It, uh, it's got a little bit of that Harley shake. I think they build that in. These M8s have the uh, balancer shafts in them to smooth that out. And I know once you get going, it will just give it a little gas. It just smooths right out. I'm using the right side joystick. I'm in the music mode right now. I'm in the nav mode now. Right side joystick to the phone mode. Let's see what happens when I hit nav. I think it might be phone depend. Oh no, there's a screen. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Interstate 29, we're at exit 35. Absolutely smooth pulling away. Very nice power delivery. Six gear at 60 miles an hour. We're talking about 2200 RPM. Let's run it up to 65 and that's about 2400 RPM. Very windy here today. The bike itself is uh, holding its own very well. I was just gonna mention these uh, clutch lever is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's got the black paint on it and I just love the way it feels in my hand. Can you all hear that? Just absolutely beautiful sound. So the fairing is an interesting thing to me. It's low enough that I can see over it. I had very little, I had no helmet buffeting on the road. It protects my hands very well. Uh, the suspension's working very well. One of the things I wanted to know was how different the suspension was on this versus the Road King. I would say there might be a little, well, I can't really tell you that. Let, let's get to the other side of the ride. I do like the way this sits. It seems taller, even though I think the seat heights are about the same. And I think that's a result of the fairing on the front. You know, this has a taller front area. Does the extra weight up high affect the handling? I would say at this point, if it does, it's it's minuscule. Not enough to bother me at all. I do like this with, with the advantage of the uh, wind protection and of course the gauges up high. And of course this boombox system down here. These bikes just do not lack for torque. I mean, here I am in uh, third gear, pumping down at 40 miles an hour, packing to about 2,500 RPMs. Uh, so how does it handle so far? I would say, I like the ride. I, uh, this road is a pretty old and beat up road and I think this bike is handling it very well. What I found with all the Harleys is, you know, they've got the mass and the suspension works well, you know, off the mass and on the road. They've done a very good job. Oh, and by the way, the mirrors, I meant to talk about that. I love the mirrors. They're way out there. I've got almost nothing in there. A little bit of my hand. Okay. We'll let this traffic spin by. Let's see how she is for turning around. As if I didn't know. <laughs> Harleys handle great. They just do. They're, they're very nice. And that torque, look at that, just right up and going. I love it. The Milwaukee 8 is a fabulous motor, no matter what size you get. The 114 is a beautiful machine. And the Street Glide is a wonderful thing. I do like this fairing. Like I said, I took one of these, an electric glide that had this fairing on it last year on a 300 mile ride in the rain and uh, 150 miles of rain. It was just a, a very pleasant experience. I didn't want to come home, you know, but it was a borrowed bike. What do you do? You know, here it is just the windiest day and the bike is not getting blown around. Works very well indeed. I love the way this thing shifts. It's just, it's just a beautiful thing. Harleys are really the pinnacle of luxury motorcycle. That's, that's what I would call this, the ultimate luxury. Hey, let's do a little braking here. We're going about 45. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Just amazing. Uh, the brakes on this are linked front to rear. They've got dual disc on the front with uh, four, four piston calipers on each disc. If you are enjoying this video, please hit like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you like about this particular video and uh, the channel as a whole. And tell us what you'd like to see in the future. We are here to please. Wahoo! I would love to take this bike through the hills. I just It's just a phenomenal machine. I love the sound. Just a beautiful, beautiful sound, you know. Boy, that transmission is so positive shifting. You really know when you're going from one gear to the next. It's just a beautiful thing. Well, let's see how long it takes to get to 60. So I hit the rev limiter on that, and uh, this one has a tack up here, and I didn't note the RPMs, but uh, 
it certainly got the speed quickly, didn't it? Rumble, rumble, rumble. I love the sound. That transmission is such a positive shifting thing. What a beautiful thing this is. The clutch is fabulous. I love the Harley levers. They just have the right feel. They're very beefy and uh, I do like that. Uh, let's talk about how this thing uh, handles at different places. In the garage and in a parking lot, it's a heavy bike, but it's got an incredibly low center of gravity. That seems to be a theme with the Harley Davidsons. Handles very well, I think, in that sense, once you get them moving. Uh, road speeds uh, from, let's say, five miles to 10, five or 10 miles an hour, you know, maneuvering around a parking lot or at slow speed, I think it handles very nice. The center of gravity is so low that it, it's very manageable, but it is a heavy bike. You should know what you're doing. Uh, from that speed up to, let's say, two-lane blacktop speed, it's a dream. This thing handles like a dream. Very smooth, very nice handling. I like it a lot. And then on the interstate, and I didn't take this bike on the interstate, but I did take it down the four lanes. You know, like I always say, breakfast in LA, supper in Boston three days later, this would do it without a problem at all. And it's got the fuel tank for it, you know, nice large tank. If you want to take a good ride down to a great bike shop, hop on uh, your motorcycles and get yourself down here to Lust Hills Harley-Davidson. So what do I think of this motorcycle overall? Uh, I really like it. Uh, there's some things about it that are that have jumped out at me that I really appreciate. One is the mirrors. The mirrors are excellent on this bike. Now that sounds like a little thing, but uh, honestly, they're in a good spot. They're very still. They, uh, they don't have any vibration even going down the road. And I just, I don't see hardly any of my arm in there. They're very good, very good in that sense. The fairing is something I like as well. Uh, it's good weather protection. It's, you know, it's low so I can see over it or through it. It doesn't, it's not obtrusive at all. It doesn't add a lot of weight to the front, at least uh, not for me. I think it's a very good thing in that sense. It feels very light for a bike of this size. It's very, you know, just, it's just excellent. So if you're in the market for a new or used Harley-Davidson, get yourself down here to Lust Hills Harley-Davidson. Ask for Jimmy, he can help you out. Or go to their website, lusthillshd.com. These guys are great. They've got a great showroom. It's in a great location here in the south, southern part of the state. They're uh, just off uh, Interstate 29, exit 35. Get, get on your motorcycles, ride through Lust Hills, and uh, enjoy the ride down here. And as I always say, life is good, life is short. Get yourself out there and ride. Ride down to Lust Hills Harley-Davidson. Wahoo!